You haven't run home to... I heard a rumor that you're an idiot. Any truth to that? Hey guys, welcome back to the cool classic kids show and today we're talking about Oblivion and man, I've been, you know, making YouTube videos for about two or so years now, give or take. Mm -hmm. And um, I've been waiting for this moment, this moment to be able to talk about Oblivion because some, an insane rumor just dropped and mind you guys, you know, Oblivion just so happens to be my favorite video game of all time for many years it's definitely a toss-up nowadays on if this is still my all-time favorite video game but without a doubt it's in my top five it it was my obsession for like three years straight and i've played it you know on and off since those three years of being obsessed with it this is this game holds a lot of great memories for me um peak gaming for me and i bought it i actually bought the collector's edition of oblivion uh for my birthday at random because a collector's edition was just sitting there at FYE and it looked really cool. And I saw it had this cool coin in it. And I wanted it. I had no idea what the game was about. And it ended up being my favorite video game of all time for many years. But we have an insane rumor. And look, man, the validity is questionable. We'll go through it. But I hope to God that this is real, man. But to get into it without further ado from X-Fire, a remake of the Elder Scrolls for Oblivion is in development at Virtuous Games. An unexpected leak from a verified and reliable source suggesting Virtuous Games is reviving Elder Scrolls for Oblivion for modern consoles. Virtuous Games former employee can't seem uh, for, former employees can't seem to stop leaking information about its projects. The Singapore based studios uh, involvement with the remake of Metal Gear Solid 3 was leaked by a former employee's LinkedIn page. It took years before Konami confirmed this with the um, game's announcement earlier this year. Now a former employee has deliberately dropped intel about what the studio is working on, which apparently includes a potential remake or remaster of Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. While Elder Scrolls V Skyrim is the best-selling game in the franchise and one of the best-selling single-player game titles of all time, the Elder Scrolls Oblivion holds a special place in the hearts of longtime fans. Unfortunately, it hasn't aged too well uh, unless heavily modified. Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion doesn't hold up compared to Skyrim. Now, I'm personally, I'm, I'm one of, personally, I'm one of those people that I don't like Skyrim so much because Oblivion left such an insane impression on me. For me, when I look at open world RPG games, I'm chasing that feeling of when I played Oblivion for the first time and I got out of um, the prison. Where that's You start out in prison and then you break out and I chase that feeling of breaking out of that prison and just having this enormous world out there for me. And the, the exploration, the different areas, um, to me, Skyrim just didn't compare. It was really awesome that they had dragons in Skyrim, but personally, I enjoyed Oblivion so much more for so many different reasons, flaws and all. It, it was genuinely um, something that that I chase, that feeling that that game gave me, I chased this day. And to me, when they say, you know what, if you think that Oblivion doesn't hold up, I, I get you, and in some ways it doesn't, but... I don't think Skyrim holds up too well either, considering without mods. Uh, thankfully, Virtuous Games is working on a way to fix this. So this is the, the post that the apparent leaker slash ex-employee put out. I, I don't know the validity to this, but we'll go through it. And they said, I'm an ex-employee of the company and here are some projects they are working on sadly i couldn't take any screenshots or whatever to exactly prove my words but well first there is atlas project which is the remaster slash remake of oblivion the discussion for it being a full remake is still ongoing it is done currently using a pairing system so it see it means that the remaster is running using both an Unreal Engine 5 project and the old Oblivion one. For instance, new graphics and render are rendered in the Unreal Engine 5 project, 
but most of the gameplay physics etc is still done in oblivion it should be released end end of uh, next year or early 2025 depending mostly on if it's a remake or a remaster it is mostly done in paris but uh black shamrock also helps the studio for the art and then they go into basically other games that um that this company has in development and I, I don't know man that sounds a little shaky to me to be honest with you um i wonder like i know nothing about game development guys i'm not going to sit here and pretend obviously i wonder how this this works are they going to use like the original audio for the game like what what are we doing here how is this possible is this really a thing um if they can't if the leaker can't establish whether it's a remaster or a remake that's kind of weird i mean it could be like um like for example uh what you call it destroy all humans one and two where they they remake the the visual assets of the game but the game still kind of pretty much plays exactly the same they use the audio from the original game to be honest with you i wouldn't mind that as as silly as the audio is from oblivion and even some of the messed up dialogue lines from the actors and even even if there's like six voice actors in the entire game or something like that i don't mind if they just ripped the audio from the original game and included it in that um, to me, there is a semblance of of charm to it, as silly as some of it is, and as poorly aged as some of it is. I I played through, you know, Destroy All Humans one and two, and that's the same audio, you know, dialogue ripped from the original game, and I don't mind that at all. I think it's, I love it for what it is because while well, they, you know, kept it as closely to the original games as possible, and really that's all you can ask for as a longtime fan of these games. So. Like I said, not sure as to the validity of this leaker. Um, the fact that this has been posted by um, somebody that is named apparently. Uh, I don't know if you guys could read it up here. I don't know if I should read it out, but I, I don't know. I don't know, man. Um, I hope it's real, but um, yeah, I'm not going to sit here and tell you, oh, it's legit. It's legit. I have no idea. But they say, let's see, according to a since-deleted post by a since-deleted user, Virtuous Games is working on five different projects, arguably the biggest of which is Project Alter, which they're describing as a remaster slash remake of Oblivion. According to the source, it's still unclear if it's going to be a full remake, but the development team uses, uses a pairing system using both Unreal Engine 5 Project and the old Oblivion one, the user who claims to work to work for Virtuous Games Paris says that uh, that the European studio is in charge of the project, but Black Shamrock is helping the studio for the art. The user believes that the remaster remake will be out before next year ends or by early 2025, depending mostly on if it's a remake or a remaster. So that's that's a little weird. I mean. I guess they're debating what, how much work will have to be put into this Oblivion remaster slash remake. Um, maybe that could be questionable depending on really how much of a facelift the game needs, how much uh, can be done, you know, just ripped from the original game versus how much new assets need to be made or new whatever. Like I said, I'm not a game developer, but it does sound like this is a, a early 360 PS3 game, super early, to the point where the PS3 version of Elder Scrolls Oblivion does not have a trophies list. So very early 7th gen, I'm sure that there's a lot of work that is involved and that could determine whether the game does come out the end of next year or, or early 2025. Um, I feel like that's kind of... I don't know, man. If they have to put more work into the game than they they think i don't th i don't know if this game is going to come out in that you know in that time period who knows you know but <sighs> interestingly fans are working on a remake of elder scrolls oblivion in skyrim's in-game engine which is sky oblivion and i have to wonder like what is going to happen with sky oblivion this 
this is something I've been waiting for for a really long time. Uh, my brother, who is a huge fan of Oblivion as well, has been waiting for for a really long time. And man, there's there's literally over a decade of work being put into that. And apparently Sky Oblivion is supposed to be coming out, I think, like 2025 ish, if I'm not mistaken, um, that they updated us on. So. I have to wonder if Sky Oblivion is actually going to be allotted to have a release. Because apparently, you know, they might be working on a remake of Oblivion, and I don't think Bethesda is going to be, you know, feel too kindly about uh, a remake, you know, being made by fans, something that's been in development for a long time. But I would, like, it's like, if it, this game, Sky Oblivion's been in development for so long, you'd think they would have squashed it, like, years ago. But they haven't. I'm hoping that it does see the light of day, even if we manage to get both, because I will surely play both as a longtime Oblivion fan. Um, so Oblivion and Skyrim's in-game engine, which is scheduled to come out in 2025. Yes, after spending more than a decade in development. While we'd recommend that you take most leaks with a grain of salt, a mod for the gaming leaks and rumors subreddit verified the information of the source, proving that he's a former employee of Virtuous Games. Now, I don't even know the validity as to this, guys. I personally don't take like even I'll say take it with a grain of salt. Who knows if this is legit or not? Who knows if this verification is even legit or not? I can't really say they're not showing any verification here on uh, this website, but remakes aren't. Bethesda Softworks or Bethesda Game Studios usual MO. In fact, outside of the multiple re-releases and ports of Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, Bethesda hasn't done a remake of an older title since. Well, forever. Then again, it still isn't technically working on one. The development has been outsourced to Virtuous Games. It's unclear if this project started development before or after Microsoft acquired Zenimax media since Bethesda would still have have to green light the project since it's uh it owns the IP. But yeah guys it is interesting it would be interesting to know if Microsoft themselves did green light this project. But yeah other than you know Skyrim getting how many ports now you know Bethesda hasn't really dove into doing any remakes or remasters of previous Elder Scrolls games which is kind of sad. Um objectively speaking like i said oblivion is one of my all-time favorite games but objectively speaking um uh, morrowind really deserves the remake more than anything else i think personally to me um, elder scrolls oblivion still very playable but i went to try um elder scrolls uh morrowind a few years back i had never played it prior and it was a really it was a really tough game for me to to play i didn't really get far i was like Ugh, this does feel a bit dated and maybe, you know, and I like when I first play a game, I like to play it vanilla so I can give a genuine opinion about what is presented in the game. But um, I couldn't go through it vanilla with Morrowind personally. I know, guys, my apologies. I had just unfortunately never gotten a chance to play Morrowind when um, that was like, you know, when it had released upon its time. I didn't even really know about the game. But um, I think that Morrowind does deserve a remake far more than Oblivion does. But hey, man, I've been seeing assholes buying Skyrim over and over and over again. And and people have been getting that game for years over and over and over again. It's Oblivion's time. If it if it's happening, it is Oblivion's time. And I will bask in it um, like the insane fangirl for Elder Scrolls Oblivion that I am. I do hope this the game stays as true to its source material as possible. And really, I do hope that Sky Oblivion and this remake slash remaster of Oblivion both do end up coming out because, hey, um, it, it's time for us Elder Scrolls Oblivion fans to get that love that all the Skyrim fanboys and fangirls have been getting for years. OK, can, can Oblivion fans get some of that, please? Thank you. OK, am I asking for too much? But I really do hope that most my biggest hope is that the dialogue, the the audio all stays the same. As dated as it is, as questionable as some of it is, I don't care, man. Um, Sir Patrick Stewart voicing the Emperor is forever ingrained in my mind and in my heart, and having it any other way 
would kill me inside. I just, oh man. Um, yeah, guys, let me know what you think about this. Do you, do you have any um, updates as to the validity of it? Definitely drop it in the comment section down below. Are you an Oblivion fan? Um, would you be interested in a remake? Have you been waiting for Sky Oblivion? Let me know. I would love to chop it up with people that are into Elder Scrolls Oblivion because I've been I've been a fan of the game for so damn long. I think it warrants another playthrough. I'm not going to lie. It's been a little minute, but I um, definitely wouldn't mind running through the game again. But yeah, guys. Um, if you can, follow me over on Twitter or Kick if you'd like to continue the conversation. And guys, with all that being said, I am out. Peace.